Hi friends, this is Kristen Hilty from Making Math Make Sense. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite games from our friends at Boxcars and One-Eyed Jacks. It's called Tic Tac Oh No. This is a great game to use with students who are learning how to work on a coordinate grid plotting X and Y. To play this game, Boxcars recommends using their dice tray, which you see featured here. If you don't have one of these at home and you would like to have one, you can definitely visit their site at boxcarsandoneyedjacks.com or click on the link that is below the video clip. Brett and I are going to demonstrate how to play this game using the dice tray, but if you don't have a dice tray at home, don't worry. I'm going to show you ways that you can play this game using the materials uh, that I provided for you with the game board and the recording sheet at your house or at school as well. If you have the dice tray, the dice tray is going to fit right over top of that game board just like that. So you can see the X axis on the bottom and you can see the Y axis on the left hand side. Brett and I divided out our dice. He decided he's going to be blue and I'm going to be white. In order to play, each person is going to roll two dice at a time. I rolled a five and a six. I need to place my five and six over the X and Y and I have to decide if I want to do five, six or if I want to do six, five. I'm actually going to go ahead and plot five, six. So since I want to do five, six, I'm going to go over five, up six, and I'm going to place the Y die in that five, six space. My five is gonna go back over here to my pile. Brett's gonna go ahead and roll. Oh, Brett doesn't really have much of a choice. So Brett, what are you plotting? Six, six. So he goes ahead, he puts that up in the six, six space and he puts the second die back over in his pile. It's my turn, I roll. I rolled a four and a three. So I can either do four, three or I can plot 0.34. I'm actually gonna plot three, four. So I'm gonna come over three, up four, put that Y die there. This one goes back to my pile. So Brett is gonna decide between two, five or five, two. And what'd you decide, Brett? Two, five. Two, five, so he's gonna show us how to plot that 0.25. He's gonna go over two, up five, and that's where he puts his die. On my turn, I can either do four, six, or I can do six, four. I think I'm actually going to do six, four. So I'm gonna come over six and up four, and that's gonna go right there. The object of this game, because you see that tic-tac on there, you're trying to actually get three of your color die in a row. So you want, um, that can be horizontally, vertically, diagonally. You have to have a minimum of three to make a tic-tac-toe, but you can have as many as six to make that tic-tac-toe. So we keep rolling here. I can either do one, three, or I can do three, one. I think I'm going to do one, three. Where the oh no comes into play is if Brett rolled, well, Brett rolled a six, six again. So he can't plot anything because he already has that six, six. Let's say, Brett, you didn't roll a six, six. Let's say you rolled a five and a six. What would you want to do here? Five, six, so I could take yours away. So he's going to do five, six, and the oh no comes in because he took my space. That's the oh no part of this game. Now, Brett and I, because we've demonstrated for you how to play, you would continue rolling and plotting your point until somebody gets down to where they just have one die left. Once you get down to that one, the game board, your, your game is over, and we'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Now, let's say you don't have this dice tray at your house. How could you play? And you only have two dice. Well, if you only have two dice, I would roll, well, I rolled a one, one. Maybe you have red and yellow counters, or maybe you have um, starburst around your house and you can take two colors of starburst. Or maybe you have, my family loves the little miniature Reese peanut butter cups. So you can take two different colors of the Reese peanut butter cups. Let's say Brett and I are gonna use starburst. So with our starburst, if I rolled a one, one, I'm going to be the pink person, and I'm gonna go ahead and plot my starburst right here at one, one. Brett would use those same two dice. He would roll. Oh, he rolled as he likes that, six, six. So he's gonna put his dice on here to show six, six. He would put his orange starburst up there at six, six. Oops, 
Oh, I rolled a three, three. We keep rolling doubles. Three, three. So I would plot my pink starburst on the three, three. Doesn't matter what material you have. You can play this game using any material, even if you just have two dice. If you wanted to even use a dry erase marker, if you didn't have any of these materials, if Brett wanted this five, two space, he could put a B on here with a dry erase marker. If I ended up getting it, I could erase his B off and I could put a K showing that that is now my space. So you can even use it as a dry erase board as well. M&Ms always make great counters. Just divide those M&Ms out into, the, into two different colors. Fruit Loops make great counters. I know my idea always goes to um, food just because that's something that makes it fun. Then you get to eat yours at the end. You can also use buttons, any type of material that you would find. Now, once you fill your game board, so Brett and I actually finished a game and our hours look like this. So once you fill that game board, then you're going to get the recording sheet. And this is what the recording sheet looks like. You can see player one's at the top, player two is at the bottom. The way you start filling in your recording sheet is each person has to count how many dice made it onto the game board. When we counted how many dice made it onto the game board, I ended up having 14 and my friend Brett had 17. I would put that 14 right here and Brett would put that 17 down here in his spot for total dice. You get one point for each die that you have on the board. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to look for your tic-tac-toes. Where do you have at least three dice in a row? So Brett, show us where you have a tic-tac-toe on that board. And tell us what type of tic-tac-toe you have. You have a vertical, horizontal, vertical. or diagonal? Vertical. A vertical tic-tac-toe. And what are the points for that vertical tic-tac-toe? One, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. So Brett on his recording sheet would record that vertical tic-tac-toe. And you can see here, he put on here, one, two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six. He put a V over here because it was a vertical tic-tac-toe. For each die that you have in a tic-tac-toe, you get two points. So that tic-tac-toe earned him 10 points. You can see he had a total of three tic-tac-toes when we look on this board. Here's one, where was another one, Brett? There's a second vertical one, and where was your third one? Yes, his diagonal one, which he had four dice in that diagonal one. You can see I had a total of three tic-tac-toes. I had a horizontal tic-tac-toe and I had two diagonal tic-tac-toes. Now we total up our points. I had a total of 34 points. Brett had a total of 43 points. So he was our winner for this game here. Again, when plotting X and Y, this is a fun one that oh no really comes into play once you lose that space. We hope you enjoyed this game. And as I said, looking for any of those materials that I just showcased or um, any of those products as well, please visit our friends at Boxcars and One-Eyed Jacks. Have fun, math friends.